I'll be applying a parallax effect on the background of these tabs based on the current tab selection. What's interesting about this page is that behind we can notice this background that is half a circle on the right hand side. When we switch from suggestions to favorites, the background should slide to the left and back to the right for the opposite switch. Now, how are we going to do this? The fact that we are having a background and then in front we are showing something else means that we need to stack the things one on top of another. That means that this horizontal pager should come on top of a background. And the way to stack up the things is to use a box composable. So here we are going to wrap the horizontal pager into a box and then this box should take the whole size that is available and then inside the box we should add a background itself as a first item which will make it appear below. Now we got the image but that's far from what we want to see on screen considering the designs. The idea is that this image will be translated to the right in the initial page and then when we switch to the second page it's going to come to the middle of the screen. To achieve that, we are going to utilize the pager state because from the pager state, we are able to read the offset or the fraction of the page that we are interested about. In this case, we can choose to work with the first page and we can use it to animate the image transition from the left to the right. Another thing to notice here is that the background image, when scrolled to the middle, it should come out of the bounds of the composable because it goes behind the edges of the screen. Let's start off by adding a modifier to the image and we are gonna wrap the content size, but because because we want to draw outside the bounds of the composable, we can use the unbounded property. By default, it is false, we are going to pass through. That's the way to draw behind the bounds of the actual composable size that is drawn on the screen. Next, let's apply graphics layer and let's do a little bit of formatting here. In this graphics layer, we have to calculate the position of the image and define how we are going to move it or transition it across the screen. Now, before we move there, let's work a little bit on the positioning and the size of the image. Back to our designs, the image is initially transitioned halfway to the right. And and when we switch, it should come to the middle as it is here. So let's work on the size to make it similar to what we see in the designs. First off, we can apply content scale and we can use fixed scale for now. If you apply 1F, it will take the full size of the image as it is now, but we want it bigger. So we'll go by twice and a half. And that's more or less what we are seeing on our designs. Essentially, we can tune these numbers later if we need to. The idea is to first get the basic functionality working, then we can see how to proceed further. Next, I'm going to apply a color filter so that in dark mode, I'm not seeing the light version of the image and finally let's do the positioning of the image first we are going to get the offset fraction of the first page and then we are going to calculate and apply the transition x using that offset value we use the page width to find the middle of the screen and basically we are moving the image half screen to the x-axis finally let's apply transition y as well so we are going to move the background image by one eighth of the available height of this composable and if we look into the preview we can confirm that what we ended up with is pretty much the same thing from our designs i would really like to run this and see how it's going to look on my emulator here we can confirm that there is the transition works quite nicely well done if you want more of this and in more depth consider subscribing and follow the link in the description to join the android devs community i'll catch you in the next video bye